In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a video to PowerPoint. I'll show you how to embed it directly into your presentation and also a few editing tricks. So let's get started. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up a presentation or create a new one. So then uh, navigate to the slide that you wish to add the video to. Next, we need to head up to insert. And then from this, we head all the way over and we can select video. And here you have a few options. You have browser, so you can search videos uh, within PowerPoint, from file, a few stock videos and online film. So let's go ahead and start with an online film because that's probably the most likely that you'll need to use. So if you click online film, what you need to do is enter the URL for the online video. So if I open up the video that I want to embed in my PowerPoint, head up to the address bar. I'm going to go uh, Command and C or Control C on Windows. And then I'm going to uh, Command V or Control V to paste that in there. Go ahead and click Insert. And then what that will do, uh, and also depend on the size of the video, it may take a little while to embed. Usually it's done quite quickly. So just like pictures, videos can be moved around uh, and they can also be resized using these uh, handles in the corners and on the edges. So essentially, once you've got it where you want it, you can leave it there. You can hit the uh, play icon. OK, and that will start to play the video. So you can just check, make sure it's the video that you are uh, wanting to embed into your presentation. So what we can do um, is now that we've got our video here, if we head up to the uh, playback tab at the top, there is uh, one main option we can use with our online videos. So by default, uh, when your slide comes up, you'll have to get the slide up and then click the video to start playing it. But what if you want it to play as soon as the slide appears? Well, all you need to do is where it says start here in this playback tab, instead of in click sequence, change that to automatically. And then as soon as you switch over to that slide, the video will start to play. If we click back on the video and make sure that we're in this playback tab, you'll see a whole host of other options that are all grayed out at the moment. So that's because we've got a video from the internet. So the options are slightly limited. So what we'll do is uh, get rid of this video and we're going to go ahead and insert another video. But this time we're going to insert a video file from our computer. So go ahead again and click on the insert tab, head over to video. And this time, instead of online film, I'm going to select video from file. So I can just navigate to um, a video here. I'm going to click on this airdrop video and I'm going to go to insert. So that's now insert. So you can see essentially it works in the same way, except the window now looks uh, a little bit different. So the play button is now down here at the bottom and we have this timeline uh, that allows us to jump around a little bit more. So what we're going to do is take a look at some of the options that were grayed out before. So you can now see so we have the option of trim video and add bookmark. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So let's start with trim video. So you might have inserted a video, but you actually only want a minute, 30 seconds, however long it may be, but you don't want the entire video. Simply select trim video and then move the yellow bar at the start and the yellow bar at the end until you've got the section that you want. Once that's done, select trim and then the video will be shortened down to just what you selected. So the other option here in this playback tab is add bookmark. So if I go add bookmark, you can see the section of timeline that I had selected now has this yellow dot in it because I've added my bookmark. So if I go ahead and click on another section of the video and select add bookmark. So you might be thinking, well, what's the purpose of this? Well, in your presentation, you might want to jump around a video. So it might be that you want to look at a couple of different parts. You don't necessarily need to look at all the other parts in between. Having this means if I just click that circle, it will straight away take me to that part. So it's a great way to document the sections of the video that you want to play um, and adding in those bookmark shortcuts. So lastly, we can head to the video format tab 
Uh, and under here, there's a few kind of visual elements that you can add to your video. So things like a border, okay? So you could add a, a video border uh, with a color. You can obviously go in uh, and change the weight uh, and things like that as well. So that's added a nice border around here. What you also have in there is you have uh, a number, you can do some corrections, so you could adjust the brightness of the video, you can also adjust the color. Um, and then finally, you have the video effects option. So this video effect option has some cool effects, things like shadow, reflection, glow, soft edges. So it just allows you to add a bit more visual flair to your video. So for example, if I go into reflection, you can see that my video is now reflected down here underneath. So there you have it. That's how you can add videos to your PowerPoint. Also how you can add it, edit them, give them a little bit of visual flair. Um, I hope this has been useful. If it has, please consider liking the video. Maybe comment below any other uh, kind of tech tips that you'd like to see uh, and consider subscribing for more content. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.